First up this week is Tom Papa's new comedy special, You're Doing Great. If you're not familiar with Tom Papa, he is considered a clean comic, meaning he doesn't curse a lot, and it's a family-friendly show. A lot of his comedy is family-oriented. So think along the lines of like a Jim Gaffigan or Sebastian Maniscalco or Jerry Seinfeld. Like if I had to separate comedy into those two categories, clean versus dirty, he would be on the clean side. But obviously comedy is much more nuanced of an art form than that. But in very, very broad strokes, he's on that side of the comedy spectrum. I myself am a fan of comedy, period. I like all different types of comedy, as long as it's coming from folks that are passionate about what they're doing. And Tom Bob is definitely a craftsman and without a doubt, one of the best at what he does. I really like one of his bits that I'm not going to give away too much from the special because this is actually a bit that's cut up and and part of one of the trailers for the show so if you haven't seen the special you know don't worry check it out i'm not like spoiling it all for you or anything like that but he speaks about making a really bad business decision in getting married and having two kids because it's just costing him money and money and money and he plays around with that thought for a while and then goes into the fact that you know on some nights his wife and kids are sound asleep without a care in the world and he's standing naked and alone in a dark hallway wrapped in fear (laughs) and he's talking about all of a sudden being hit with the realization that their lives depend on him you know being the breadwinner and protector of the family and it freaks him the fuck out and he's like, I, you know, I, I can never let them let them see that. I can't show that, you know, like level of vulnerability. You know, it's not like I can just go into my daughter's room at 2 a.m. and sit at the foot of the bed and wake her up and say, hey, 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 hi. Um, Do you ever feel like you're not going to make it? <laughs> I like Top Papa, though. I like his his sense of humor, his point of view. There's like a a lightness to him, like a levity to him. He's been on Rogan a bunch, and it's always an enjoyable listen when he's on. And a fun fact about Tom Papa is that he bakes bread. Him actually being on Rogan's podcast a couple of years back and bringing some of the bread he baked, and you know they were speaking about baking bread and I think the New York Times or some publication some like big newspaper publication pretty sure it was the Times reached out to him and he wrote like an like a an op-ed or an article about bread baking and it's important to note that Top Papa is the like writing type because you have comics that you know write on stage you have comics that and by right on stage, I mean literally not write anything down or just have bullet points and then just off the top of the dome, figure out their set on stage as they're saying it. And they develop bits and a set and ultimately a special just by repetition and 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 muscle memory. Then you have comics that literally write down every fucking comma, every period, just write out their jokes verbatim. And that's the spectrum. So you have everything else in between, you know, like a combination of both. And Tom Papa is definitely the writing type, you know, has a dedicated writing room in his house, set hours to write nine to five, you know, type of thing. And I'm not saying those are the exact hours that he writes. I'm just saying that to highlight the structure. But anyway, I say all that just to say that it's not far fetched that, you know, he, he wrote an article for a news publication anyway then that parlayed into him having a show on the food network called like baking bread with tom or something like that which had a season and maybe two but i think uh one season and and was short-lived because of some 
some beef or some issues with uh, Guy Fieri, if I'm not mistaken. And then Tom just went on to producing his own videos and putting them on, on YouTube around the whole baking baking bread thing, which incidentally worked out great for me because I watched his videos and tried baking bread again. Because back... When was it? It, it actually might have been from hearing Tom Papa when I initially tried to make my own sourdough starter and, and bake uh, sourdough bread. And it was, I want to say, a couple of years ago. And I did that by, you know, just YouTubing it and following a bunch of different recipes and and combining different procedures as I normally do. Because for me, whenever I cook anything or bake anything, like I have to like follow shit to the T. Like I'm not an artist when it comes to to cooking or baking. You know, I know I know people that can see like a list of ingredients and just like know to like put a dash of this and taste and then you know it needs this it needs that i can't do that at all like i have to follow step-by-step precise instructions whenever i make anything what i do do though is if i'm looking up a recipe let's say let's stick with the sourdough bread like i'll watch the way a few different people do it and i'll see where they know that they have the ability like you can tell where they know they have the ability to get artistic with something and by artistic i I just mean you know not be like completely scientific and precise with with something whether it be a folding technique or the amount of time to bake or the way to to use the lam and slice the bread or you know the 25 grams of whole wheat versus 50 of bread flour or vice versa or it doesn't matter as long as you just have 75 grams total so you know what i mean like i see where each of them get a little loose with it and then there i know that i can plug and play so if i like what one person's technique is with the folding but i like what another person's combination of flowers is like i'll mix those two together like that's where i'll get creative with recipes but aside from that like i'll follow everything else to the t if not i'll just get fucking lost but anyway after i found out about you know tom's uh, cooking show and then him putting the videos on youtube i decided to ch- check it out and you know it was fun to watch obviously cause he's a comic he makes shit you know light and funny and i again combined some of his techniques with uh two maybe three others and you know i gave the whole sourdough bread thing another shot and i had fun doing it made some really good bread had a couple duds i posted them actually on my instagram you guys can can check it out you can see like uh the video process of me doing it and the final product basically at spun today on instagram and also i actually I believe this week, this past Monday's Midday Monday Boost Letter, which if you're asking yourself what is the Midday Monday Boost Letter, go kill yourself. But that is my weekly newsletter. And I believe this week or last week, the featured video of the week was Tom Papa's baking bread video. And that's the type of cool shit that you can see if you subscribe to my free weekly newsletter by going to spuntoday.com forward slash subscribe. Anyway, Tom Papa is a funny comic. His special, You're Doing Great, is streaming on Netflix and definitely worth a watch. Go check it out.